And one of the things about the ulama, they say that love, the mahabba for most human beings arises out of three things. The first is the physical love. You see something beautiful and you have a natural, your heart inclines towards it. In Allah Jamirun, Yuhibbil Jamal. And so he put love of beauty in the hearts of human beings. So if you see something beautiful, you incline towards it, your eye delights in it. And if you see a human being that's beautiful, you can fall in love. It happens on just from sight. And so the ulama have maintained the physical description of the Prophet ﷺ because that is a level of mahabba to actually hear how beautiful he was. And he was the most beautiful human being. He was more beautiful than Yusuf ﷺ. And one of the gifts of this ummah is that we have an exact description of him that it's as if you're looking at him because of this desire to, to keep this description of the Prophet ﷺ so that people could have a physical attraction to him as well as the first stage of love. And then the second type of love comes when you hear about the beautiful qualities. So you have the vahir and then you have the batin. You have jamal al-vahiri, which is outward beauty, and then you have jamal al-batini, which is inward beauty, which is akhlaq. And so they move to the akhlaq of the Prophet ﷺ. And then the next level of love is love that you feel for somebody who's done good to you, or that you find out somebody made sacrifice for you. Because people, if people do good to you, جُبِلَتْ الْقُلُوبَ عَلَى حُبِّ مَنْ أَحْسَنَ إِلَيْهَا That human hearts by nature love those who do good to them. So if, if somebody does good to you and then you don't have that love for them, it's because your heart is not in a natural state. It's in a diseased state. And so if you knew what the Prophet ﷺ did for you, you would fall in love with him. If you knew that he, and not just for you, for humanity, his concern wasn't just uh, his sahaba, his family. Most human beings, their concern is limited. Their concern might be their wife or their children, their husband, their family, their extended family. Some people, their concern is the community. They actually extend beyond. And they actually care about if there's poor people in the community, they want to find out and help them because it's about heart. The bigger the heart, the more capacity for love. The smaller the heart, the less capacity for love. And it grows like a seed. Mahabba comes from, habba is seed in Arabic. That's the nature of mahabba. So the bigger it gets, the, the bigger the heart has to get to bear the love. So those people have love for their community. And then there's people extend to the ummah. They extend to the ummah. They actually, their concerns are the concerns of the ummah. They actually think about people in, in other places. Sayyidina Umar said his concern was animals. He said if an animal was being unjustly wronged in, the, in Iraq, I would feel, feel concerned for it. That's his responsibility. Everybody under his demeanor, the Messenger of Allah وسلم, he felt concerned for all of humanity. And that's why he went to non-Muslims. He wasn't doing da'wah to Muslims. This is wild. Everybody in here is Muslim. I'm talking to Muslim. He was concerned about the people outside who hadn't heard. And that's why he went, He used to go and literally, in, in what most people will consider humiliation. He was a Sharif. He was a Sharif in his own before Islam. He was a Sharif and Nisab. He was from the aristocratic clan of Quraysh. He was going to the Ghifaris to the, the lowest tribes on the peninsula and talking to them about Islam, humbling himself before them, bearing patiently. Once you rise, he did that for human beings. I mean, this is why he did it, for humanity. And then you begin to feel love. And the more you know that he did for you, the more you should be feeling this love for him. So Allah said him. والفريقين من عرب ومن عجمي محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن